What's going on YouTube? Yankees Jets fan 71 back here with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing part two of my Derek Jeter Hall of Fame bobblehead set that came out from the Baseball Hall of Fame when uh, Derek Jeter was inducted, which unfortunately his induction ceremony will not happen until next year. Thank you very much, COVID-19. Um, but they did release a set of three Derek Jeter Hall of Fame bobbleheads. I did review the first one. You can go back and take a look at it if you haven't seen it already. Uh, this one is the Derek Jeter batting bobblehead. Um, I'm not going to show the box in this review because the box is the same exact box as was the first one. And the third one will be the same exact box as the first two. So I'm just going to go ahead and show the bobblehead off. As you can see, Derek is batting if at the plate. Um, base of course which is beautiful it was the national baseball hall of fame logo as the base um just like the last uh, bobblehead you have red underlining here with uh, blue all around with Derek jeter in raised letterings uh here you can see the letter the paint app did skip a little bit the k is not fully painted and neither is the top of the r but not a big deal in my opinion um and the blue goes all the way around as, as does the red. Um, the bottom of the bobblehead has the Legends of the Diamond, Derek Jeter number two shortstop. This one is 69 of 540. This one's a lower print bobblehead than the last one. Let's put that there. Uh, Derek is wearing the home pinstripes as he was in the other one. Um, you can see that he has his uh, leg leggings over his sneakers as he did during his career over his Jordans. Um, take a look there. He's batting. He, now the bat here is, this is a little weird. Let me bring this a little closer. The bat is not screwed in like with most bobbleheads. This one just comes in and out. This co does come off. And if I can just focus, there we go. This tip here of wax does come off. So when I first got this bobblehead, I actually thought this was a screw in, so I, would, so I took the wax off and tried to fit, put it in, and didn't fit. So, with this bobblehead, you leave the wax on, and you just stick it between his th hands. Or there is a hole back there that you just put the bat in. No screwing required, and you just leave it there. Uh, since we're back here, let's take a quick look at the back of the bobblehead. Very clean paint job on this bobblehead as was the back the last one rather uh foco's done a fabulous job with the painting of this, these bobbleheads these bobbleheads come out really clean really good paint apps excellent excellent quality foco has done an amazing job with this bobblehead i just love how shiny the helmet looks there um Derek smiling because he knows he's, he's about to get a base hit that's going to put the Yankees back in the World Series. And that's pretty much the bobblehead. Um, again, very clean bobblehead. Very few paint apps. The only paint apps I can tell on this bobblehead are the ones on the base that I've pointed out to you. Other than that, this is a great, great bobblehead. The flesh tone on Derek is absolutely superb. I love that base. Oh, the back of the base says class of 2020. So that's something I probably didn't show off on the last one. And it does have that in the back as well. Um, as always, I keep the neck piece in until I'm ready to display my bobbleheads. And once I do, I will take the neck piece off it. So that'll just secure the bobblehead. Anyway, guys, that's my review of the Derek Jeter batting stance hall of fame bobblehead you can get these bobbleheads unfortunately the hall of fame are sold out of these bobbleheads ebay would probably be your best bet um i know i set an extraordinary price the last time i reviewed the Derek Jeter bobbleheads i looked and they are coming down in price i think you can get this bobblehead for around 70 bucks if i'm not mistaken if you see it for 70 grab it at 70 because with Derek Jeter, prices on his stuff goes up and the prices are insane. Baseball cards, autographs, bobbleheads. I've seen some of Derek's bobbleheads go for as much as 200 depending on the bobblehead. So if you can get this one at 70 I say jump on it. 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please leave all comments down below. Click that like button if you like the video and, cl and click on the subscribe button for more video content such as the one you've seen here before tonight. Thanks a lot, guys, and I will be back with third Derek Jeter bobblehead really soon.